Hey guys, it's Agonis Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos with virtual reality. In today's video, we're going to be bringing in a new technology called WebVR. So I'm going to show you how to set up a project from scratch in Unity by using the latest version of Unity as of today. And then we're going to be incorporating this asset from the package manager, also importing the asset, and then you're going to end up with the result that you see behind the scenes. So we're going to be able to interact with objects, grab objects, also throw those objects. I'm going to be able to also move around and we're going to be able to use our mouse to basically rotate the camera. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. Today I'm going to show you how WebVR works with the scene that I have right now, which is a complete scene that is running on WebVR in the browser for Firefox. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it so you can see it running on my Oculus Rift device. So as you can see, I'm actually playing it right now. I'm just going to put my headsets on. You can see that my hands are completely, you know, moving as I move the controller. I am basically pushing the trigger right now and I'm, I'm getting full motion. I can also move around if I wanted to. And if I wanted to use a mouse, I could rotate because this is basically running on the browser. But the other thing that I can do, I can pick and basically interact with rigid bodies, which are, you know, which are elements that are attached to these components. So you can also pick things up can also push them. So if I wanted to push this, just push it and it looks like the force there was a little bit too much, but you know, I can pick things up. I have another sphere right here that I can also pick up. And this one is a little bit heavier. Looks like the weight on the rigid body component, it's a little bit higher. So everything works. I'm just, you know, looking around the, looks like I have the proximity with the boundaries that I have are really close to me. So I can't really move too, you know, too far, but I can look around and see how things look like in this scene. I can also rotate and if I wanted to go here and then get back to where I was, I could basically, you know, get back to my, my place. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to set up this scene. So let's go ahead and start looking at some of the Unity components. All right guys, so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna show you how to create this project from scratch. So we're just going to be selecting 3D and also give it a project name. So I'm just gonna call it Unity web vr essentials and this is going to be the project that i'm going to be putting in github so just make sure that you look for that let's click on create this is going to create the project while that is loading i'm going to go into the github repository which is github.com mozilla unity web vr export i'm going to be putting that in the description of this video you can also find the asset under the asset store by searching for web vr assets and then you can find the you know the other is going to be also mozilla and it's completely free, so you can just download it and try it out. So I'm going to start looking at just GitHub because that has most of the information. You can go through this repo and they basically walk you through everything. You also have a live scene here that you can click and basically it's going to open Firefox. So make sure that you download the, ver the latest version of Firefox because that's what I recommend just to make sure that everything works. And then there's just a lot of different instructions in here that I, I'm going to be saving for you. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And now that we have the project created, the first thing that we need to do is we need to download that package. So I'm going to actually go back into the asset store and then we're just going to click on open in Unity. I'm going to click on open Unity editor. It's going to be opening up the, the, the actual package manager, which is what Unity uses now to handle assets. So I'm just going to click on import. Then it's going to list all the different things that it's going to be downloading. I'm just going to, you know, just select everything and then just click on import that's going to be importing into your project then what we're going to need to do is we also need to make some changes on the components that we're going to need in the player and the reason for that is because this is going to be a virtual reality experience so we need access to those components and just ignore this error i think this is i don't know what i keep getting this i'm just going to clear it out so now what we need to do is we're going to go into file and then click on build settings we're going to be adding the current scene which is called sample scene right now and then we're also going to be changing the target platform to be WebGL. Just make sure that you have that component added when you do the installation. If not, you can easily go back into the, the Unity Hub and then just add that module. Now click on Switch Platform. We're going to be switching into WebGL. And it should be actually pretty fast. There's really not much to change since I, we could have done that in the beginning before we did the import. That way the assets don't need to be converted. But either way it would work. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm just going to click on player settings. And these are a couple of settings that we're going to need to change. So we're going to click on the computer because it's going to be for PC, Mac, and Linux. That's what we're going to be running right now. 
and it's going to ask you what virtual reality SDKs you're going to be using. I'm going to be using OpenVR and Oculus, so you can just keep those two. Those are the ones that we're going to need for for this, you know, for this example. This is this is the by default is enabled. The instructions had an older version of Unity, and that's why they recommended that you go through here and then basically enable those. This is what we need, so I'm just going to just close out of that. So now that we have everything set up, the next thing that we need to do is, if we need to set up a new scene from scratch, meaning that we need access to the camera, you can basically go into, so there's different ways. You can go into WebVR and then look for the prefab that has the camera set. So let's say that we need to, we're going to do it from scratch. So what you can do is, what I recommend that you do is delete the camera. You can also disable the camera. And then we're just going to be dragging and dropping this component. And that component itself is going to have its own, you know, its own camera, and also the hands that we're gonna be, you know, that we're gonna be using and interacting, using to interact with. So what you can do is you can expand this, and you're gonna you're gonna see that we have the hand left. We also had the the hand right. We also have a camera game object, which is the one that comes with this prefab. So this is basically everything that you need to do to to get, you know, a component that is going to be able to interact with the environment. So the next thing that you can do is you can also use some of the scenes that the WebVR component provides. So if we double click on the scenes under WebVR, we can also look at a scene that I show you at the beginning of this video. This has everything that you need to get started. Basically has the hands, which also has the WebVR camera set component. You also have, you know, the table with the sphere that it has a heavier, you know, the heavier rigid body component that I show you. The mass is set to one. And then we also have, you know, the different cubes that you can use, which have rigid bodies and bo box colliders. So that's everything that we need to do to kind of get started. And if you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned in here, please let me know. And just keep in mind that if you want to run this in Unity, make sure that you have the Oculus, o Oculus Rift connected. And once you get everything connected, you just have to hit play and then that's basically going to work. I had issues running in Mac OS, so I, you know, I ended up going back into my PC and everything worked well just on my PC. You can also go back into Chrome, just like I show you and mentioned just, you know, a few, few minutes ago. You can go here into the first link in GitHub and then you can just click on that and it's going to give you the demo. You can, I wouldn't run it in Chrome. I think they recommend that you use it in Firefox. So you can just, you know, open up Firefox and then just paste that link. And this is going to allow you to run it right on the device. What's going to happen with this, this is, if you're wearing the device, it's going to prompt you to, it's actually going to open Firefox, and then you can do the entire experience. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. And also make sure that you subscribe to the channel because that's really going to help me in bringing you more videos. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video today on WebVR. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting early access source code and also early access to videos. Thank you very much, guys.